The system UI status bar can overlay our screen. And for this purpose, we have the safe area widget, which will make sure that our widgets avoid a collision with these system UIs, such as the status bar at the top. Also on iOS, the safe area widget will avoid the notch of the iPhone. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. In general, there are two different ways of how you can apply the safe area widget to your widgets. Therefore, let's get started with a list view with 100 items. And if we scroll our list view, you simply see that the items are going under our status bar. And this is not always cool because it looks not professional. To fix this issue, we simply can wrap here around our list view a safe area widget. And now if I scroll here this list, you see that it is not going anymore under our status bar here at the top. Similarly to this, there is also another way how we can apply our safe area. And therefore we add here simply to our scaffold a background color. And then you see that the whole page has here a background color of blue and also our status bar. If you don't like this effect that also your status bar has here then your background color, you simply can take the safe area widget and simply wrap it around your scaffold instead. And with this we have now the background color only for our widgets and not for the status bar. Three important things to notice here are firstly you can deactivate the safe area by simply putting here the top for example to false. And with this the safe area is deactivated for the top area. Secondly, you can get the size of the area which was clipped away by simply going here over your media query and then you can access here the view padding and then you can print here the padding to your console and here you should see that we have 44 pixels at the top clipped away. And this 44 pixels is then also the size of our status bar. Thirdly, if you don't want to collide your widgets with your status bar, you can also use an app bar widget instead. And this will then automatically take care that your widgets are not colliding here with the status bar. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you